guys, what's up? I'm back with more of the Whispers of Machine. Uh, we're going to continue with our story here. Um, so we need to get out of here from... Yeah, that's the only Welcome, way. Visitor. Oh, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh no! Special Agent, Violent Crimes, Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. The man from the train. Indeed. I never forget a face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yes, I've been informed. But tell me this. If you had nothing to hide, why would you invoke said legal status? A church needn't have things to hide to be protective of its privacy. But to prove you wrong, I'll answer any questions you might have. All right. I'll take you up on that. All right. What do you know about the murder in the workshop hall? Not much at all. Only that a carpenter was brutally killed there in the night. Okay. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Only what my fellow church members have told me. That Maya Strand was stabbed to death by a mysterious killer. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church has a violent past with them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. And now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated, and we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings, then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The Conduit believes humans will create God in their image, instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed, and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false God they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they are not prepared for. I thought that these guys are the conduit. Never mind, I got confused there for a second. All right. So Leonard Dahl, one of your members, was killed yesterday. I had a feeling your inquiry would lead us to him. Can you think of anyone who would want him dead? No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. A look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of, but never quite able to reach, some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. Okay. This church, Epos, what are your teachings? At our core, we are an Orthodox Christian Church. We believe in the one true God and His only Son, Jesus Christ. And what sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. The reverence of the essential humanity in each and every one of us, and our stalwart opposition to false idols. Prior to the collapse, the great flood of our time, we arose as a reaction to the disgraceful habits of that era the widespread worship of anything and everything but God. Wealth, fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human, and the worst of all, the pursuit of AI superintelligences. False gods that humans aspired to construct for themselves. We oppose it all for the glory of our creator and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshipping these false gods? Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. Such things belong to the past. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are unnecessary evil. However, no laws have been broken. We have every right to bear arms. Do you know what kinds of books Leonard liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within You. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about nonviolence, to summarize. Got it. 
Thanks. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, and I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. Okay. Mm, I don't want to. That's like, all. Asking all of the, the rest of the questions. Um, Grandmaster Otto, if I'm sorry, I told him blessings. Should I even like bother? I'll keep it to myself. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm, yeah, I guess out. Oh, the passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. Oh. Okay. So now, find that book. That guy um, has that book somewhere. There we go. There it is. The book from the library. Got it. The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient. Pre collapse for sure. A number of pages are marked in the margins. Likely to easily find them. Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. That action doesn't... I should keep this to me. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, I got something to show you. Okay. Have a look at these marked pages. Does anything remind you of things Leonard used to say? Hmm. Give me a minute, will you? Sure. Here. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Leonard used to say that whenever I was late for work. Perfect. Thanks. No problem. I don't want to share. Okay. Um. Now where to? I think it's safe to assume that the church. I should repeat this quote to Leonard's brother. Oh, well, at least that one gave a hint. I don't see how those it's not working I... hello Rolf hey look I'm pretty busy here this can't wait you heard about your brother right it's a small town what do you think sorry about your loss but I really need to ask you some questions <sighs> fine what do you know about the conduit you know I'm a gardener. That's not... <laughs> I'm sorry, Rolf, but I have to ask you about your brother's death. I know, and I wish I had something to give you. So you have no idea who'd want to kill Leonard? It's gotta be the nut job who killed those other people, right? It's possible, but far from certain. When was the last time you talked to your brother? A week and a half ago. Okay. How did he seem? What did you two discuss? He was his usual self, but what we talked about is private. 
Look, every little detail matters. What he said could be the key to finding his killer. I'm not gonna betray his trust. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. But that's all I'm gonna... Hmm. What can you tell me about the Church of Epos? I know for a fact that your brother was a member. So? That's not a crime. Come on, Rolf, work with me. Don't you want me to catch your brother's killer? <sighs> yes, he was a member. But I'm not. I spent ten years trying to get him out of that place. Why would you do that? Because he changed. He became this sullen, slow, serious, fucking block of a person. He used to be so full of life, you know? I know he died just yesterday, but the Leonard I grew up with, he's been dead for a long time. I understand, Rob. The sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. I don't believe this. You have something for me, Rolf? I guess so. You know, you're the last person I was expecting. Was my brother a police informant? Uh, yeah. We were building a case, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Shit! That's crazy. Wait here, I'll be right back. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now go bury the bastard that killed my brother. I'll do my very best. Right. Got rid of the note. Let's see here. There was an audio tape and a few documents inside. These look like surveillance reports. It seems that Leonard was investigating Carl, Katerina, and Maya. Huh. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mimir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape recordings. Maybe they can offer some other clue to the killer. I need to figure out some way to play that tape. Oh, that's easy. I already know where. It's the museum. There. This tape is in pretty bad shape, but I might be able to do something with this machine here. Oh right. no. Looks like the machine has analyzed the tape. Maybe I can reduce some or all of this noise. I think I need to work with smaller sections of the tape by using those two yellow selection sliders. Oh. I don't know how is I shouldn't do that before I filtered out all the noise. Okay. Not sure. So it has to be small. Okay. Okay. that someone is onto us. We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. <sighs> Maybe. I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family. Me either, my love. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. 
CPUs, neural cores, major third degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. Fuck, Cap... Mel, it's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. Okay. Interesting. If only I knew where it was recorded. Well, we already know where. There's the wind chime near that robot guy shop. Oh, those must be the chimes I heard on Leonard's tape. That means Carl and Katarina were here when they were recorded. I should have a look around. Oh, those must be that means Carly. Hmm. I wonder. There's something taped here under the bench. Aha! Uh -huh. A tape recorder. This must be what Leonard used to record Carl and Katarina. There's still a tape inside. Crap, looks like the recorder is busted. Oh, I have to go back. Looks like an apartment. There again to listen to the tape again. Let me worry about Carl. I'll find a way to make him see the value of our cause. He's a liability, Katarina. It's only a matter of time before he figures out our true plans for the vessel. Mm -mm. Maya, just don't call our child that. What? Vessel? But that's exactly what it is. I knew, I knew it. Don't I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We must put our own selfish desires aside. How many children can she not save? How much suffering can she not end? I know, Master, it's just hard. What if something went wrong? What if this is all for nothing? You need to have faith, sister. Ever since I was little, I have sung to the tune of these machines. Now, is your wrist implant working as expected? I think so. Doesn't itch anymore, at least. I'll run a diagnostic later. I also put in a little surprise. Let me guess. A bomb? Is that sarcasm? It doesn't befit you. No. A fake biometric signature. Hmm? Oh. For the city trench coats? Why would one of them ever come to Nordsend? It's just precaution. We won't remain here forever. I haven't gotten us this far by avoiding contingencies, have I? I suppose not. Katarina played me good. She is one of them. I must go and confront her. Uh-oh. Well, I probably will die again, but... Alright. Should I even bother asking, <laughs> talking to that guy just now? Oi. Ooh. I have a bad feeling about this. I am well prepared for tactical engagement, Alex. There is no need for concern. If you say so, honey. Is he the blue? Katarina? Huh? If someone is there, show yourself. That's that guy was using invisibility probably. Hey, Katarina, wake up. She has no visible injuries, but her okay. pulse is extremely weak. Something must have happened. I need to go get help.
From what I can gather, some kind of brain trauma has put her in a comatose state. Damn. Can you determine the extent of the damage? Difficult to say, which is typical for most brain injuries. She could wake up in five minutes. She may never wake up at all. What could have caused it? Could someone have done it to her? It's theoretically possible that she suffered a stroke, but her symptoms are eerily similar to victims of sophisticated interrogation techniques. Hmm. Interrogation techniques? Like what? I'm no neurologist or nano-engineer, but from what I learned in medical school, there are advanced torture devices and energy-based weapons that can cause symptoms like this. All of them illegal, of course. Your colleagues at the Bureau may have more information about the subject. I see. I will consult my contact here in Nordsund. Perhaps she has some knowledge. Very well. I Good. Stay frosty, Gabriel. Whoever did this to Katarina may decide to come back. I'll try, ma'am. Be careful out there. You run is drawing near. You run. You didn't hear? The storm. That's what people are calling it. Oh. Must be a big one. Okay. Hmm. No Stina. Why is it like that? It's Stina's scarf. Oh, she's... Stina! What the hell? Sorry, kid. Can't let you stand in my way. Hmm? I should have known it was you. Oh no, I'm dead. So close. Because I'm an investigator. Stupid. Now what? Okay, there's something wrong. Like it's Uh, okay. Oh, it's just... Okay. No. This wasn't supposed to happen. Yes? Hold on, darling. I've got this. He is the blue! He is the blue. <coughs> Damn. The strain on my blue to keep me alive must have knocked out the ox. I've never felt this cold. I need to find a way to heat myself up before I get hypothermia. Damn twig. Dry stick. A large branch. Damp and not ideal as firewood, but could be part of a shelter. Damn, it's too tough to break off by hand. Um. A photo of Katarina. The glass frame. Oh. Oh. 
I've... These could become a wind shelter, but I need to attach the branches together somehow. I don't think anything about... I don't see how... That should catch any wind coming from the east. It's a shallow cave, but I should be able to take shelter from the storm in there. I need to get my... Okay. This straight stick would work well as a spindle for a friction fire, but I'll need to assemble kindling and fire... Good idea. I can try to make a friction fire with the dry pages and the stick. But I should gather some firewood in a good spot first. I hate to do this. Okay. Remember last time we went camping? How could I forget? What didn't go wrong that weekend? Well, we were never hit by any meteorites, or struck by lightning, but other than that... <laughs> At least my friction fire skills have improved. I never thought all that survival training would ever actually pay off. Avoiding death by freezing may have been a decent incentive. You could say that. As much as I enjoy your company, I'm not quite ready to cross over to the other side. Okay, day four. Looks like the storm has subsided. I should try to make my way back to Nordson. Right, I'm going to end the video over here, guys, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on next time. Thanks for watching.